Welcome back to the classroom with Architect Mark and tonight we're going to be talking about some more fundamental concepts inside of layout and uh, we've been on layout for like three past meetings already but there are still some sensibilities here that you need to be aware of so let's head on over to the classroom and check out what those are all right so we have left timer start yeah so we left layout uh with these section samples and the way layout does this is when you first use it you'll feel that uh some of the lines are not as fine as you want them to be but you can actually control those using the model tray uh here in the default tray the model sketchup model panel i think that's what it's called is it called panel uh well it's a window so it's a dock window so here we have our SketchUp model panel, and if we click on this one, we find out information about it. So this is almost like the info uh, model info box. Only let me get rid of my keyboards for a little bit so we can see it better. Only in uh, layout form, so. Here you can see that we're using the long section C and it's combined with a left standard view. So the long section C is active, the cut is active, and we're viewing it from the left side with orthogonal uh, on, which means there's no perspective here. And we have indicated a, a scale that we wanted to use here now you can see here that there is also a line scale this allows you to control the quality of the line here so let's try and move it to point one and you can see that the image instantly changed to reflect this particular line scale now while you can be good with that there's also another button here that says raster and when you click on it it shows you three options that you can use you can tell layout that you want this particular part of the drawing or this particular model instance to be a vector in which would mean that it becomes a mathematically accurate uh, depiction here inside of layout or the default raster what happens is th this what we're looking at is basically a snapshot of what is on the model vector actually has calculated values for each line uh, within it and then we have here a hybrid which basically is the best of both worlds but also the longest time to render among them you can see that when you click that it says here hybrid rendering while effective at representing complex styles and it's important complex styles can take much longer to render than either vector or raster okay so we just okay that and you can see that there is quite a bit of change from hybrid from the original uh, raster mode even if the line scale is smaller or the same can see that in raster mode there's a lot of inconsistency with the lines some are thicker than the others 
and then when you go vector now we don't have our sunlight which is a bummer especially if we wanted our shadows to be present here uh, this is because it's basically prioritizing the math of all the entities within the drawing instead of showing us a good representation that we actually wanted to display now the way hybrid works is like a best of both worlds kind of thing where we get our shadows and then we get consistency in our line weights which is quite important especially for uh, tasks like this now you can play around with this uh, but let the Let's put them side by side so that you can see just how different these are. So let's remove this long one and then replicate this short one so that we're, we have a better visualization. Set up right here. So we have this as the control, it's on raster, and then up top, let's say that this was the verb. Yeah, we're gonna change this to vector and then this last one to hybrid so that we can see just how different all of these are. So as you can see, raster doesn't have emphasis on the lines and there's uh, potential for these kinds of artifacting. While it does also exist in hybrid, Hybrid lines are much more fluid and you, you can literally uh, see the difference here. So let's try and put a complex uh, item within this model and see just how much different these three are so let's open this with sketchup and ready our file i had one here earlier okay let's just wait for that to open and then go ahead and put our plant inside of it so Let's go with cross section first. It's pretty accurate depiction. Uh, yeah, we're putting in something that might just show us how these three modes affect our drawing so right now we're putting in a jar where is that so i imported a what did I bring in? Oh, a round vase. I can see it right now. Where is it though? So let's do an. Yeah. 
not yet, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so I don't know where that vase went, but supposed to put it right around the that space where we used to bash our company what bash our company that even me I'm just looking for the base and it's not showing up Okay, let's try and import it again. Maybe it's coming in too small, but no. So we have a, a base. So apparently, I just didn't wasn't able to control it. So this is our base, and let's save it. Let's show our section so we can definitely have this same thing available to us for the next project so let's uh, Hide what we don't need. And so let's see what happens there. Save it. And then look here. It updates with the base. So as you can see, the base in the raster mode looks like this it's uh the, the texture is available to us in this look yet on the vector this is the vector one uh the vector mode one discarded the bitmap or the image that was mapped onto here But we do get our lines as accurate as they can be. And for the hybrid rendered one, you can see that it's the, mo the more, the better option between the two. But again, like the computer suggested earlier, if you use hybrid, rend uh, hybrid type for the SketchUp, model all the time you're gonna end up with a uh, pretty hard to manipulate file and you don't you don't really want that so you just do this for when you need the data from your objects to be very very clear and without an issue like this one it's completely pixelated and you don't get to see the detail here okay so that's about it for the this concept of between raster which is an image format and vector which is a mathematical format and also the hybrid rendering uh, typology, which gives you the best of both worlds, even anti-aliasing. So with that, I will leave you guys tonight and once again, ask you to take care and goodbye.